Welcome to this video friends. In this one we are going to learn about pivoting tables. In simple English what this means is you take a column and you basically turn it into a row. So let me give you a very simple example. Imagine I have a column that looks like this. I'm going to add some comments here and then we'll get into the nitty gritty details. Imagine I have a column and you have values in it like for example like one say two and three. So when you pivot you essentially take the one, two, and three, which as you can see are in a column, and you make a row out of those things. So instead now you would have something that looks like this as an example. Highly simplified, but one, two, three. So you're taking a column and you're turning it into a row. That's the underlying idea here. Keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look at this in action. So let's go and use this. I'm going to say select. I'm using AdventureWorks as you can see. Select title from person that person give this an execution and we have this title field as you can see and within this field we have mister we have miss we have null and so on we have titles what are we going to do next we'll take a look i'm going to take this i want to take for example the miss and make that a column header and i want to count how many miss i have I want to take the mister and I want to make that a column header and count how many misters I have and so on and so on. So I want to take some of these values that you see here and then make them appear as column headers in a row. That's our objective here. Just like this. You see one, two, three in a column, you turn it into one, two, three in a row. In our particular case, we'll take the miss and under it we'll place how many miss there are. We'll take the mister, we'll count. And then we'll decide how many misters there are and so on. That's the objective. Okay. So I'm going to reuse this. This is good. Somewhat helpful. All right. So I'm going to type right before this from. And before we do anything else, take a look. I'm going to close that within parentheses. The rest of this is just some syntax you just have to learn, basically. And you alias this as an example as source table. So what is this saying so far? Take a look. It's saying this. Grab the title from the person table and essentially treat that as a new table. And you want to do that because now once you have it, you can pivot it. So at the next stage, take a look. You can use the pivot keyword. I'm indenting the code just to separate things out a little more, make them more clear. So it looks like this, pivot. And then you put an opening parenthesis, you put a closing parenthesis, the same as with the width, and when we define table structures. And then what do you put inside the pivot parentheses? Well, take a look. Remember, we want how many miss there are, or how many misters there are, how many misses there are, and so on. You see? I'm going to count that. So that's why here I'm going to type count and title. But that's not enough. So you see it says there, expecting either a parentheses or a select. Well, no. Next keyword is this one. I'm going to type four. And then after that, you're going to type title. And lastly, n. So this is just some bit of syntax that you have to memorize. That's all. But what is it saying in simple English? It's saying you're going to look through this basically and then pick out the misters. You're going to count how many misters there are. You're going to pick out the miss and you're going to pick out the misses and so on. You're counting the title. That's why it says for title. And of course, this is the only column we have here and the output, nothing else. And after the in, you're going to type as an example between square brackets, mister, like that, and then close it. All right, so at the next stage here, after all of this, outside the closing parentheses, right after it, so to speak, put as pivot table, as shown here. So this line inside the pivot block is saying count the misters. That's all. Where it says count title for title and mister, that means basically get the misters, count how many there are. And now, take a look. Notice we're getting a lot of red underlining all over the place. So heavy amounts of mister and it says expecting parentheses or select or something like that. Okay. So that's one thing. But we've got them, right? We've got a pair of them if you look carefully. So that's not a problem. Right. Heavy mouse of account, again, it's giving you some error message, but we've got parentheses, so that's not a problem. So come up here, and again, this is just learned knowledge, and type the following. Right after the go and before the from, type select, and then say here, 
as an example title count comma and what do you put after that notice that this is now okay right as soon as you stick in a select with a title count it's fine i'm going to break this up over a couple more lines i want to really space things out so you can see more clearly i'm going to collapse the comments up top look very carefully so first you're going to run this you're going to basically make a new table called source table once you have it you can pivot it once you have it pivoted, now you can select columns from it essentially, okay? So notice that if I run it in this form, take a look. All I get is a title count. That's not particularly useful. And remember inside the pivot block right here, we've got the mister. We can select that now. That becomes available. Take a look. So after the title count, in the first select, put a comma and then type mister like that. All right, and highlight everything, give it a go. And is this giving anything to us? It is. If you look carefully, take a look. You've got now a column named Mr. And under it, it tells you how many Mr's there are. And notice that this red text, title count, goes into the cell right there. You see that? So in this case, if you wanted to, we could alias that. So this is the entry in the cell. So you can type now as and then title count like that so entry in the cell comes first and then as and then after that title count take a look Hit execute and it tells you title count as you see there the header now in the first column and as you can imagine besides doing it for just one inside the pivot block you can make a whole list of columns obviously so i can say as an example miss i'll do just one more after that it's the same logic and one thing to be observed is that even if you have it here in a list inside the pivot block you don't actually have to select it up top you don't have to select it up there how do i know well you check now you make a modification and you run the code and there are no errors so that's good so now in the first select put a comma and then type miss and close that and let's select and give it a go execute and now you've got miss in the output also down below okay so remember originally right the title would have been a column with the mister and the miss and another mister another mister maybe another miss another miss and we've turned that basically into as you can see here a row now the mister and miss are in a row and under them you can place the counts and remember that here there's a kind of order of execution there's a lot of code like how do you decide what runs first well you try to remove parts and see what the impact is that's all okay so let's see if i remove the as source table let me just remove that for a second and everything gets underlined red so you have your mouse over the pivot as an example and it says expecting as id or quoted id okay so as is that enough by itself expecting id or quoted id notice that the as has been removed from the little tooltip so that tells us that now we make up some name like source table you see that so that's one kind of thing now essentially we're going to grab the title column alias it as a source table once you've got that going you do the pivoting essentially and then after that you can run the top select so this never actually runs, you know, the way we write it from left to right. It's got its own way of doing things. And another thing, take a look. Imagine from the pivot block, I remove one of the column names like Mr. And I leave just Miss. And look at the impact on the code. Look at Mr. Hover your mouse over it and it says invalid column name Mr. So if you think about that carefully, what is the implication of doing that? It's saying essentially that this bit will run first, you see? If not, then that would not get underlined red. So I'm going to say, Mr. That becomes available. And then this here works fine. On the other hand, take a look. If you remove a column name from the select on the top, there isn't really no negative impact on the code. No error messages show. I'm going to put that back in within the brackets. And one last thing, take a look. So imagine that from this select right here, I remove title. Okay, take a look. Imagine I remove the title from there. 
And let's just put a star or something like that. And just give this a go. Let's see what happens. See that? You're going to get all kinds of errors. You see that? Okay, so don't use a star. Imagine we use a different column name from person, like first name, for example. But we don't use the title. And look at the impact. In the pivot block, the title gets underlined red. It's no longer found. So there's a lot of logic here. If you think about it carefully, you remove one bit, you study the impact on the code, you put it back in. Then you remove it, another bit, and you study the impact on the code, put it back in. And if you do this enough, you'll develop a pretty good understanding of things. So put the title back in. And what is all of this experimentation telling us? It's telling us essentially that we're going to go with this. Then we pivot, which generates our new columns with the Mr. and Miss. Once you've got those, you can run the top safely. And you get a nice output. Okay, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.